Hello. Hey who? What's up? Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> oh, what's in the box? Hi guys, and welcome to the unboxing and first impressions of the new Propan 2.1 from FPV Gadgets. The Propan is a very well engineered FPV pan and tilt unit for your small to medium size FPV planes such as uh, maybe the Sky Hunter or the Skywalker. Planes like that are going to be a perfect fit for a pan and tilt unit like this. The guys over at FPV Gadgets, they don't uh, fool around. So the unit comes double boxed, bubble wrapped, and now they're even shrink wrapping them to make sure that by the time they get to your door, they're in perfect condition. Aside from the pan and tilt unit itself, you get a little goodie bag that's got some very useful parts in it that we'll cover off a little bit later. For me, one of the key benefits of the ProPan pan and tilt unit is that it comes fully assembled. The ProPan has been around for a couple of years now and it's undergoing continuous improvement. So in the version 2.1, it's got a number of enhancements that we'll be covering off here, not least of which is the belt drive system. In order to get 360 degree panning from a standard servo, you need a gear reduction system. And initially they were going to actually use a gear mesh to achieve the gear reduction, but they found that the resolution with using 3D printed or even injection molded gears wasn't adequate to give smooth panning. So in a stroke of genius, they came up with the idea of using the tried and true belt drive system as you can see from my pre-release model, they've used a GT2 pitch gear setup. And in my case, the gears are 3D printed. The boys at FPV Gadgets weren't that happy with the quality of the 3D printed gears. So even though there's quite an expense to doing small run injection molding, they went ahead and had some of the critical parts of the ProPan injection molded, which takes it to a whole new level. So if you take some precision injection molded gears and add a belt drive system, you have the recipe for a very smooth panning action. There's a lot of flexibility when it comes to mounting cameras on the ProPan. At the front, it's been designed to accept a 28 by 28 millimeter board camera that can actually be mounted in behind the front plate so that just the lens is protruding. Or as you've seen with the model I'm building, I'm just running the uh, run cam Swift right on the front plate. And of course on the top is where you're gonna mount your run cam or your Mobius or your other action camera of choice. The cradle mount you can see here is one of the parts that is now being injection molded for more precision. And they took the opportunity to design in a, an increase of an additional 10 degrees down tilt. So it just makes it a lot easier for the camera to look downward. They've actually gone to the trouble of installing ball bearings in the tilt mechanism to make sure that the tilting is just as smooth as the panning. Another of the main benefits of the ProPan is the way in which it handles your cables. A lot of 360 pan and tilt units end up with the potential for tangled servo wires and, and camera leads and such. And the ProPan uses a center pass-through unit, as you can see here with the brass tube that is actually at the core of the unit that runs from top to bottom. And the camera and top servo lead passes down through this brass tube, eliminating the potential for twisted or tangled cables. So this is where you want to go into the goodie bag and uh, pick out one of the most important pieces from it, which is the length of spiral cut wrap that you'll use to protect the camera lead and the uh, servo lead from the top servo as it passes down through this uh, brass tube. So what this uh, wrap is going to do is protect the wire from any chaffing that uh, takes place as a result of the unit rotating on a 360 degree basis. And these photos will give you an idea of what it looks like when the spiral wrap's been applied. 
Also included in the little goodie bag were these really cool four millimeter nuts and bolts that uh, I ended up using to mount my ProPad. Here are a few shots of an amazing installation of a ProPan onto the uh, foam canopy of a Skywalker. It's one of the shop planes over at FPV Gadgets and you know I just had to tell them that they did a, an amazing job with that and I was going to try and emulate as best I could how they did this but unfortunately the uh, shape and size of the canopy on my version of the Skywalker that I have meant that it was a, a non-starter. I just didn't have enough foam to work with. so. I had to come up with a different plan. So thanks to my buddy Mike from the East Coast, actually he goes by East Coast 78 on YouTube. Uh, he turned me on to the um, little pod that he bought for his Skywalker and it's uh, it's not a very expensive investment. It was only 10 bucks and it actually fits the, the fuselage perfectly. So the challenge now was how to fit my brand spanking new Propan 2.1 pan and tilt unit onto a pod that wasn't really meant for it. Well, they say if you stare at something long enough, you come up with a solution. The solution really wasn't that difficult. I mean, hell, I figured it out. So all that really needed to happen is that the upper deck needed to be flush so that the propan unit could sit flat against it. And we needed to notch out a spot for the pan servo to sit. So there was a little bit of a challenge in that you couldn't simply remove material from the top uh, because then it would have no structural integrity because you would be right down to the tabs. So what I did is I just built it up and then sanded what a little there was left down so that it was flush. You can also see here where I just sanded a little bit of material away to let the propan slide back just a little bit further. So the top platform of the FPV pod was just a bit too narrow to take advantage of the mounting ears on the outside corners of the propan. So what I did is I just drilled up four holes so that I could use the supplied four millimeter nuts and bolts to secure it directly to the platform itself. Well, a little coat of paint, cause why the heck not? And we're ready to put this together. Although no one in their right mind could possibly care, I thought I would just weigh the before and after version of the FPV pod just to see how much weight the extra lumber and paint added to it. And as we can see here, we came up with a whopping difference of 8 grams, which means absolutely nothing to anybody. And now we're getting to the good stuff. So I think a new plane with a new sexy pan and tilt unit deserve a couple of new cameras and picked up a couple of cameras that I think are just perfect for this. One being the good old Runcam 2 and the other being the new Runcam Swift. The Runcam Swift comes with uh, two backing plates. One with the ears that you can see on here that are designed to be used with the swivel mount and a flat back that uh, you can use for surface mounting or just different types of mounting applications. So because the ears get in the way of uh, mounting the Swift onto the ProPan, I'm going to go with a flat back. Because it's going to be a while before I get a chance to put this plane together, I wanted to take the pan and tilt unit for a test drive. So to that end, I used my Hobby King servo tester along with a BEC that delivers six volts. This one actually delivers five or six, but as with most servos, the ones that are supplied, which have a two-year warranty, by the way, will give the best performance at six volts. Although cranking the servo tester around gave me a good idea about the range of mobility and the action of the ProPan, it wasn't as much fun as working it with the sliders on my transmitter. So. I, I'm really looking forward to getting this plane in the air and using this pan and tilt system because I think it's going to be just awesome. One thing I noticed when I was watching this video back is that the cameras are just at the right height to look back over the wing when you swing the propan around 180 degrees to look to your rear. So I think it's going to provide some really nice video. For those of you that are incredibly detail-oriented, get the pause button ready because I'm going to show you a 
few slides that will tell you everything you ever wanted to know about the Propan 2.1. Well, I'm sorry this was such a lengthy video. I tried to keep it as short as I could, but there's a lot to cover. Because I'm not going to be able to get the plane in the air for a little while, if you want to see some video of the Propan in action, I'm going to recommend that you pop over to Keith's channel, which is uh, Bonafide Pirate. And he's got an awesome channel with uh, amazing FPV footage. And he's got a number of videos that uh, feature the earlier versions of the Propan, so it'll give you an excellent idea of uh, what it looks like in action. So with that, I'm going to sign off for now, and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Happy flying, and bye-bye for now.